In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clone any website and also deploy it on Vercel. This is probably one of the first times I'm making a video where you can clone a website or generate a website, but also you can deploy it. This has been one of the most asked. We're going to use a V0 from Vercel for this, and we also are going to deploy it on Vercel. The Vercel is a platform where you can deploy Next.js based web applications. So we're going to use a website that recently came on the top of product hunt and we're going to clone that first and after we successfully clone it or as much as we can then we are going to see the deployment part so this is a website that we're going to clone it and it's called like fine leads close leads i'm going to just like literally go here and then give um, it to vessel i'm going to go to v0 i'm saying i want to clone i want to clone this website and um, i'm going to say that there should be three additional pages what are the pages that they've got? They've got platform pricing. Uh, I'm going to just like leave it platform pricing and contact us. So platform pricing contact us. So that's it. I'm going to send it. Oh, I have to sign up, sign in. After I sign in, you can go see. I want to clone this website, whatever the website is. There should be three additional pages and uh, it is going to start doing what it is supposed to do which is it goes to the page takes a screenshot after it takes a screenshot it starts designing this so generally what vessel does is vessel or v0 does is it goes to the main landing page whatever like the browser real estate is it takes that particular screenshot so if you want something like more sometimes you have to go give additional screenshot but usually i would suggest that you wait for the first screenshot to code to complete and after that, you can go see and then give additional pages. So right now we are doing only the first page, which is the landing page. Once that is done, I can go here and then say, okay, so below the landing page, can you do this? Something like that I can give. So for example, I can, I can go here and then say below the landing page, can you do this? Yep. Let, let it finish for, for, for now. So it's still designing. As you can see here, this is a TypeScript based platform. So on the top right hand side, you would see this button where you can uh, deploy it on Vercel, but uh, it has to successfully design for it to work. And it also creates a plan here, as you can see here. So the first one is to site header, site footer, a page, a page like the platform page, the pricing page. And uh, these are the, and we have also asked for a contact us page. These are the pages that we asked. So once this is done, everything is done. So as, as it writes the code, you can see here, Preview is not loaded until everything is finished. Now it's creating the contact us page. It has created a separate folders, which at this point, a lot of people said it is a big pain because um, initially it used to create only one page. Now it's doing all these things. Cool, not bad to be honest. So it created um, fine leads, closer, grow faster. Uh, one thing I'm going to probably say platform. Okay, not bad. Pricing, not bad. Okay, one thing probably I'm going to say is um, can you add placeholder images from un unsplash or something? Because right now the images look empty. So I just want to like it to add uh, some images there. So let's see if it can add um, because I've, I've seen it with Replit agent. It manages to add unsplash images. It makes the change as you can see here on the main page. It's, it's a cool animation they've got here. So it just goes line by line and then it uh, tries to update. So you can see here, um, it tries to use the unsplash image and uh, I don't think it will work, but let's see, because from the API, uh, it doesn't seem like it is working, but um, I, I have to give, uh, yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work as, as I expected, it didn't work. Anyways, that's cool. Um, I know it is not going to work. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and then give the second screenshot. So can you have a second, uh, can you, can you add this one after the landing page scroll? I'm going to add this. Um, and also the unsplash images didn't show up the Let's see what it is going to do. So I've, I've said like, can you add this one after the landing page scroll and um, unsplash images didn't show up. Uh, I, I, but there are certain things that are nice. The, like the color that it has chosen, it is nice. I don't know why it keeps on disabling the preview. Previously, it used to be like so cool to see 
the rendering happening while the code is happening but right now this is this is what we have got uh let's go back to this particular website um it it looks like we have managed to capture this uh, we didn't have the font awesome icon here and uh, there is like a free trial and login button um i don't know i didn't check the whole thing maybe we can uh, make changes to that but i'm going to keep it simple for now and uh, just like go on yeah let's go ahead with this uh, images i'm going to go click deploy at this point so there are two things you can do if you want to do any local deployment so you can just like click uh, add to code base and copy this line let's say you have got visual studio code either you can download it as zip copy this line run it uh, if you have got npm installed and then it ideally supposed to install all the components that are required but if you want, don't want to go through that pain then you can just what you can do is you can go deploy it and add your chat to project to deploy there's no project uh, sample deploy create it and once you create it okay i've added the chat confirm and deploy uh, so create a deployment confirm and deploy initiating deployment as you can see here it's uh it is going through the deployment here you can get the custom domain if you want like you can do configuration there but you can see that it has been queued and if i click this it will take me to my virtual page so where uh, the deployment is actually happening this is like i have to log in with my virtual account then i have to log into my github like if anything is coming from github but in this case it is not coming from github it's directly coming through v0 so it's not a big deal so this is the current url that we are going to get and as you can see here there like the deployment details are happening and uh, the environment in which it is going to be deployed is staging it is currently being built it might take a few seconds or probably like minutes i usually don't deploy a lot of javascript application so i have like less a clue about what is happening see honestly this has been one of the one of the blessings for me because i have hardly done any javascript full stack coding and having these platforms are like quite a blessing it's just that like i don't have confidence to slap a payment uh, processor on top of it especially given that i'm in india stripe is only invite only and a lot of other challenges otherwise i would say if you're not living in india you have stripe account you should like literally develop a bunch of these websites buy a domain like in indian money it's like uh, 1000 rupees 2000 rupees something like 15 dollar 20 dollar 50 dollar i would just like literally put in a lot of websites there even if you can make money out of affiliate marketing i think it's a big deal so the website has been deployed here so you can go visit it's um, authenticating with um, uh, vessel and uh, yep this is live at this particular point this website that we just gave is live so i think it is still not available for everybody to see that is my understanding let me go see here see this place redeploy to production i'm wanting build cache okay I'll copy the clean link okay now it is actually happening and uh, it is building so the building means it's trying to build it in production and then deploy it i think once this happens ideally this should be available on a private window as well that means like anybody who's uh, who's not like using this um like the virtual login should be able to see it it's going to take a couple of seconds i'm going to go open my private window and paste the link and right now it is not available so what we are going okay it says it is uh, production is deployed uh, go back click visit it's a long one copy the url go to the private window paste the url i don't know to do it i should have copied this link this one this is what i need to copy copy clean link go new private window paste it voila we have successfully cloned i mean if you are told me that i can design a website like this i would be laughing at myself because i know for sure with my python skills i wouldn't be able to design a website like this which has got different pages which has got different pricing there's a contact us uh, there's like a blog which of course is not there but yeah it's 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 quite a fascinating time that we live in and uh, like i said like if you are living outside of places where stripe is available if you are living in a place where stripe is available i would go 
get a Stripe account or Lemon Squeezy account. Design websites like this, just slap a payment processor on it and then try your luck, like serve Google ads, Facebook ads, whatever the way you want to do to build your top of the funnel. And you are an indie hacker or a solo proner. And um, let me know if you happen to do anything like that. I would love to know about it because that's an area where I'm trying to spend more time and knowledge and build skills. But for now, successfully built and deployed a full stack application that is available on the internet for anybody to use. I'll just link it in the YouTube description for you to try it out. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.